Hello everyone, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today we have an exciting tag. This was my one of my favorite tags from last year. This is the Tarot Academy Awards, but this is 2024. Now, this is a tag that was created last year by Sylvia at Fairlight Tarot. I will link her video for this year's um, Academy Awards down below as well as her channel. She created this last year. I did it. I, it was a lot of fun. I don't normally like to do superlatives or best anything or favorites anything, but for some reason this was fun to me. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it and I'm excited to get to it again this year. It was a lot of fun picking out the decks again this year. Um, I will link last year's video right here for you if you want to see that. And let's get to this year's video. So in the same way that the Hollywood Academy Awards gives awards out to work done the previous year, I'm going to do the same with my collection here today. So it will be decks that I received last year. Whether they came out last year or not, if they, if they came into my collection in 2023, then they were up for an award in, for the Academy Award in 2024. So let's get started because we got a lot of work to do here there's a, there's 10 categories i think i got my tea oh let me get this tea bag out of here so now i've got my tea i didn't want it to get bitter so i had to take that tea bag out and i've got my rings because it's the sylvia vr and whenever i do a vr to sylvia i always try to wear my best rings so let's get started the first one is best screenplay a deck with a great guidebook that stands out in a sea of boring little white books. And I am going with the guidebook from the Todd Alcott Horror Tarot. Now, this is a deck you can buy on Amazon and I will not be posting links below because I don't want to, um, I don't want to spoil this for any, I don't want to spoil the choices for anyone, <laughs> but you can, you can, I have a link, I have a walkthrough and the link is definitely under there if you want to, use my link, but you can just Google it and it'll pop up. This is a fabulous deck. I enjoy it quite a bit. These are some of the cards, but we're not really here to talk about the cards because this is an award for best screenplay. And let me tell you about this little guidebook here. Okay. So instead of just, first of all, I love the shape of this book. I love these rounded corners because it gives me, every time I see it, I think about those film noir movies, you know, where there are detectives and they carry around these little books with pins in their pockets and they look like, I feel, this is what comes to mind when I see this book, whenever I pull it out. Now, Todd Alcott, um, instead of just writing a regular guidebook like most people do, he created a horror tarot studio, like a movie studio called the Horror Tarot Studios. He gave us some information about them, right? And then he wrote, the descriptions of the cards as if it's like a press release from the studio <laughs> to you know whoever is going to be built, you know, showing the movie so that they can know what the movies are about buying the movie i guess so they can know what the movie is about so, so one of my favorites is the high priestess and it says the high priestess 1927 easily the most beautifully photographed of horror tarot studios early silent features with cinematography by a young Humi cypress who captured the delicate balance of light and dark and created what would become known as the horror tarot look the high priestess was an early starring role for edwina marco now none of these people are real okay <laughs> think any of these people are real he completely made them all up but i love <laughs> i love it i'm here for it you know like whose refined features and ethereal presence elevated the rather familiar material of the script the poster was designed by dorothy rosen one of hollywood's unsung talents who said the high priestess possesses divine feminine wisdom her nun's habit symbolizes the veil between the seen and unseen her glowing pomegranate symbolizes fertility and eternal return so i mean he gets all of the information in there but still like it just makes it fun it just makes it fun and then it goes on as you go through um different it's the same sort of thing you know it talks about the characters and it's just in a fun way and i really love his guidebooks the other deck started something like this it also had a story woven through it and each card had its own little story but this took it a little bit further 
further. It's like he started that project and that fun kind of way of writing a guidebook with his first deck and then just expanded on it here and just went all in with it, you know, and I love it. So if I'm going to pick something for a best little white book, because this is truly a little white book, this uh, of the decks I got last year, this was hands down the easiest one to pick of all of these. And again, this is the Hara Tarot by Todd Alcott. Congratulations, Hara Tarot. You just won for best screenplay. <laughs> the next award is best special effects. It is a deck that is visually out of this world. I'm going with the Spectro World Oracle. This is a 54 card hand painted Oracle deck for personal reflection and gameplay. And it's for gameplay as well because with 54 cards and the playing card associations on the cards, just put that there, um, you can use this to play cards, to just play regular playing cards or even to divine with playing cards if you choose. Now, I don't know if you guys have the Spectro World Tarot or if you've ever seen this deck, but his artwork and the artist's name, I'm sorry, I didn't even say, is Benjamin Allen Simon. Um, and this is where you can find him, spectralworld.com. And also on Etsy, he's very uh, prolific on Etsy. He sells his artwork and, and these decks. This um, artwork is very much out of this world. It feels very much out of this world to me. I think it feels alien -y. And that's the only word I can think of <laughs> at the moment. It's not, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel um, celestial. It feels out of this, it feels alien-y, you know, <laughs> like it's happening in another world or in some outer space planet, you know, I don't know. It feels like I'm watching a sci-fi movie every time I look at one of these and I'm here for it but it's in color. And a lot of times, you know, sci-fi movies can feel a little dark. And I love that this one is so bright and I love his artwork. So if I'm choosing a deck that feels out of this world where the artwork is out of this world um, and also out of this world as in being fabulous, I choose this one. And again, this is the Spectro World Oracle by Benjamin Allen Simon. Congratulations, Spectro World. You have, this is a much deserved, <laughs> much deserved award for you. The next award is best costume design, a deck that shows outstanding attention to details and the details must have been designed especially for the deck. I am choosing the Estrella Tarot for various reasons. I love this deck. I think it's beautiful. I have a couple of decks that could have won this award, but I'm going with this one. And I think, I love those backs too. Aren't they fun? But okay, so she, of course, it's the tower is the first one out and it's cute. <laughs> she designed all of the details of this deck specifically to make a Marseille deck fun and pop culture related. I think the, the people she chose here that she created specifically for these tarot archetypes are fabulous choices. And if you want to know who, who they all are, I have a full walkthrough of this where I go through each person um, and I talk about who she says they are. And I read a little bit from the guidebook about why she chose them. The other thing is, is that she put a lot of herself in this deck. And look, there's two pot. <laughs> she put a lot of herself in this deck. She designed a lot of elements that really represent herself and her own um, culture in this deck. She's from Mauritius, I believe. And she put things like cowrie shells for the pentacles, all of these tropical flowers where in a um, classical Marseille deck, they would be more European style flowers, right? And so here she's put in these tropical flowers that match her own um, her own culture. And I love that. And these have been designed specifically to bring this deck together, you know, to make it, make Marseille into something fun and exciting. She even chose the colors. Um, they, they're not, she didn't design the colors to have a meaning. I did reach out to her to ask because I was like, what about these colors? Do they mean something? And she was like, no, I just thought that they were beautiful and they brought the deck together. And so that's why I chose them. And I think that, I think it came together beautifully. I really do. I love working with this. It's high vibe. It's fun. Um, it's, it feels warm and inviting. And I like the stories of the people in the guidebook. The new version actually comes with an English guidebook 
Um, and, and she sent that to me so that I could read it. But I had already looked through the French one. <laughs> um, and because I did a video on it and I translated the French one, there's Michael Jackson. So yeah, I choose this one as if I'm choosing something for a deck that has details that have been designed specifically to make the deck and it came together beautifully. I definitely am going with this one. This is the Estrella Tarot by Ashla Estrella. You can find this on Etsy. Um, also, she has a French, she's from France, she lives in France at the moment. So she has a French website. So if you're in Europe, you're probably better off getting it from there. So you don't have to pay those. I don't know if you might have to pay customs if you buy it from Etsy or whatever. But yes, beautiful deck. Wonderful. Congratulations, Estrella Tarot for your best costume design win. Okay, so next up is Best Photography. And this is a deck that has achieved an outstanding result in capturing the images. And I went with the Mary Magdalene Oracle by Megan Watterson, but the illustrations are by Moonjube. She's the one that captured the images. I don't, I, I got this deck. And to be honest, I, I started reading the book and I never finished. And I do plan to finish. I do that all the time. But I always finish. <laughs> and um, this is a, a Hay House release. So you can get this anywhere. You can buy your tarot decks. And um, yeah, I, I think this is stunning. And I don't use the deck that often. But I look through it all the time. Like I just take it out of the box just to look at the pretty pictures. That's how beautiful I think they are. <laughs> I love the way that she uh, incorporated the words in the pictures. I think that this collage art is seamless. And it feels like the people have, these are, they feel like apparitions that have just, you know, appeared in these scenes, um, wherever these places are. So they feel like real places. I don't know if the, it feels like a dream. It feels like a real place, but then someone hit pause on reality and then these apparitions appear. You know what I mean? Like in a movie where things stop and then something appears and talks to you and then things start back up again. That's kind of how they feel. Look at this one. I mean, they feel like they're there, like they just appeared and they're standing on that land, right? I think that this is beautiful. Um, I really do. I love the color palette. I just, I, I love this. <laughs> and I, like I said, I don't use it very much to read with. But I look through it all the time and I'll pull a card and just read a message. I just like to have it around, to be honest. And maybe one day I'll use it more once I finish going through the book and kind of understanding understanding what she's um, talking about here a little bit more. But until then, I'm just happy to enjoy these beautiful images and to have this art, what I feel is an art deck in my collection. This is not, I mean, this picture of the lavender, I mean, obviously I've seen this picture a million times and a million tarot, well, a million is an exaggeration, but I've seen it a few times over. But look how she, does, she changed it. I love that she put the this phoenix in the air and the words, and I, I don't know, it just, it makes it feel different. It makes it feel, special this same image that i've seen before in other decks feels special in this one so i think that for a best photography a deck that's achieved outstanding results in ca capturing the images this one came straight to mind i call myself back from all times and all places i exist intensely i'm here i am here i love this i love it congratulations to the mary magdalene oracle for winning best photography congratulations mary magdalene oracle <laughs> i should probably put some red edges on this someday right maybe we'll see i'm not, edging decks is not something i have a lot of time to do these days it seems like i used to do it more um the next one is best actor in a leading role so um, last year we had best actor and best best actor and best actress. This year we have best actor in a leading role, non-gender specific, and then best actor in a supporting role, non-gender specific. So this one will be best actor in a leading role. This is a tarot deck. The other one is an oracle. So this will be a tarot deck that is most prominent in expressing human nature. This was a hard one because I have a lot. Uh, I got a I got quite a few decks last year, so I had to look through quite a few decks to see which one I thought 
was the most prominent in expressing human nature. Now, I don't know if this is the most, like I said, I don't like superlatives, but hang on. I got a lot of pieces here. I keep these crystals in here with it. And then there's the book and then there's the extra cards and there's a lot. So this is the Urban Incantations Tarot. And I do believe that this deck does represent human nature very well. The people in it just feel like they are living a real human existence. Um, even with this impressionistic sort of magical art style that he has developed here, um, all of his decks have different art styles. <laughs> and this one is almost, it's almost impressionistic, right? But, um, and like magical, almost surreal. Oh, this one looks a little surrealistic. Like, I mean, there's just a lot going on in these but they still represent human nature. Like this is a, a potter for the eight of pentacles. If that is not like a real human experience in an eight of pentacles, I don't know what is, you know, like trying to master this skill takes a lot of diligence, you know, and practice. Um, the queen of cups, uh, you know, I think that there are some really like this chariot as a boss. He's like a mob boss, you know. Um, there are some really good representations in this deck as far as just feeling like you are in a, in a real life world, a, a cityscape full of different types of people. You know, most cities do feel like um, you know, most cities do feel like. A, a metro a melting pot is the word I'm looking for. I was going to say metropolis, but a melting pot of people. And that's what you find here in this. And I think it does express, you know, human nature in a real sort of way. So I really enjoy, well, in a magical sort of way. It's magical and real, magical realism, you know? <laughs> so I really enjoy, I look at the six of wands. I love, I love this. I like that he's holding what looks like a portal, pulling it down for us to see through to what's happening. But then also, that I, I love I love this. I think it's beautiful. Anyways, if you think that this is something that you might be interested in acquiring, he does have an Etsy website. It's called Parlamon Studios. Um, his name is Leonard Jim Narciso. You can also um, look up his website. Let me show it to you. So there you go, parlamon-studio.com. Those can be a little bit uh, more difficult to get a hold of sometimes, but I wouldn't lose hope because whenever he does a Kickstarter, sometimes he will release, he'll do extra printings of some of his older decks to kind of help the Kickstarter along. So you can get them there as well. Now he does have currently a Kickstarter up for the Afterlight Tarot. And I know for a fact, that I saw this one as an add-on on the Afterlight Tarot Kickstarter, but I don't know if you're gonna see this video before that Kickstarter is over. So I would say you could wait for his next Kickstarter or check that website if this is something you wanna pick up. But this is the Urban Incantations Tarot by Leonard Jim Narciso. You won for Best Actor. What are you gonna do with your fame? <laughs> this creator, Leonard Jim Narciso, has been in the game for a minute. So it does not surprise me whatsoever that the deck that I received from him this year has won a Tarot Academy Award in my eyes. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, the guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, you know? Our next award is for Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And this would be an Oracle deck that is most prominent in expressing human nature. And I've chosen the Local Honey Picture Box by Emily Wilcox for this one. It hit me in my feels when I saw it on Instagram. I was so excited to be able to review it. It is amazing. First of all, the artwork, this, these oil paintings are beautiful. I think she had a showing where you could go actually purchase these. I don't know, you know, if she still has any available or if she's still selling them or if it was just during that. You could see the real life ones and probably also purchase. So there's this amazing artwork that absolutely captures human nature. And I think that she used uh, real people as models and you can see it in their faces. You can see it in their stances and their body language. Um, and then there's this this book. I mean, it's not white, but it's obviously a, a little book. But it's packed with words that are there to help you un love yourself unapologetically. Every part of every part of you, right? Um, and without fail, without question, 
and I love this book. If you want to see um, what's in the book, I have a full walkthrough of this where I read through the guidebook a few times so you can see that. I'm not going to hold people up here, but this is gorgeous and it's definitely one. This that, this one is the one that really caught my attention. I mean, it, made, it, it hit me in my heart soul like in my chest right when I saw it the first time I think that this deck is wonderful and I keep it close to me and I think it's probably my most um purely human deck that I received last year so it had to be it had to be the one that won this award so congratulations to the local honey picture box for being um the the oracle deck in my collection that is the most prominent in expressing human nature the next award is for best documentary this is an oracle deck that excels in all the categories presented and that is awarded for lifetime achievement and i have chosen the divine nature oracle deck and book set written by angie sullins artwork by greg Belenka, produced by U.S. Game Systems and Doorway Studios. I love this deck. It is definitely, it was, it was going to be an Angie Solomon's deck for sure in the Oracle um, Best Documentary section. I couldn't, I got a few last year. I, I had a few from 2022. I got one this year, but most of them I got last year. So it was hard to decide. You know, I liked, I liked all of them. If I had to choose just one of the ones that I received in 2023, because I still love Wild Woman Rising, but that one was in 2022, so it wasn't up for an award this year. <laughs> but if I had to choose, I love these bags. Look at these bags. They're fabulous. They glow and magical. But if I had to choose just one of the ones that I received in 2023, it would be this one. And I think it's because I use this one the most. This is... Um, the one I use this deck almost every week it says that I've used it almost every week since I got it and I think the reason that I use it the most is because it is the closest to the work that I'm always doing this deck is created to help us merge our divine existence with our human existence um, and that's what I'm always trying to do it's literally a lifetime worth of work so I think I will keep this deck and use it for that lifetime's worth of work. I could see myself keeping this deck for a lifetime. And therefore, I think it deserves a lifetime achievement award. The, the artwork really draws me in, y'all. Um, I don't have anything else with this artwork from Greg's, from this artist, Greg Spelunka, but it's so evocative and moody. And it just really makes me think deeply about this work that I'm always doing. It helps me to remember what I'm doing here, why I'm pulling these cards, you know, and it keeps me grounded and focused in the work. And I like that about this one. Um, the work I'm doing, this is a very personal thing, but I mean, all of these are personal. Like I'm the only one over here choosing decks. I'm not a whole academy. <laughs> So it's just me out here. So, <laughs> so this is my choice for um, Lifetime Achievement for Oracle Deck. This is um, the best documentary category. So congratulations to Divine Nature Oracle. It has won for Lifetime Achievement of an Oracle Deck. I can definitely see myself keeping this one for a lifetime's worth of work. Okay, we're almost there. We are on number eight and there are only 10. The next one is Best Director, a creator that has shown outstanding results in the coordination of the entire production, from cardstock to art style to guidebook. I choose The Little Sister Tarot. I think that, I mean, it's in this beautiful parchment-y box. We have the thumb hole cutouts, which are important. Look at these backs and these edges. The production on this deck is amazing. This, um, the choice of, of this back and edge is inspired. I don't, <laughs> it's inspired. I, I am here for it. It's beautiful. It really makes um, the, the production on the deck stand out to me. I love to see them even just sitting on the table like this. Uh, I love to pick them up and touch them because they're buttery and silky. Um, yeah, so the production, absolutely hands down a win. The cardstock is lovely. The The images on this deck are amazing. This deck is really, it really could have been in the category of human nature, 
the um which one was that i can't remember let me look <laughs> best actor in a leading role the tarot deck that has prominent ex prominently expresses human nature i think that this one does a really good job of expressing different parts of the human um emotional experience and i like it i like it and it helps me to tap into that part of my own of my own self when i'm reading with it i feel like when i'm reading with this deck i'm using I'm reading with my heart and my soul rather than reading with my brain or um, my my mind, you know. And it's a nice experience. It's 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 nice to have a tool like that in my collection. It's done a great job of creating a tool that I can use. Um, she created this to work through her own grief, but now I can use this to work through my own emotions, you know. And so that you know, a best that's fab. That's what directors do, right? They create art for us to consume that we can then use in our own lives um and i and i like that about this one so i think that this is perfect for best director guidebook so it talked about guidebook it did come with a guidebook and it's nice it's good it comes with images for the majors and a good write-up with reversed meanings and then for the minors you get also a nice write-up with reversed meanings you can pause that and take a look if you if you want it's soft easy to open doesn't hurt my fingers or hands to open it. it's got the glossy pages it's a nice indie quality deck with wonderful artwork and it gives a wonderful reading experience so this is my cho choice for best director We're down to the best movies so this first one is best movie in a foreign language a deck that excels in all categories presented and that is awarded for lifetime achievement but is in a foreign language and so i am going with the bana traditional korean tarot i think i recently showed this deck in its holographic form in another video i can't remember which one so this time we're looking at the paper version but let's just start by the fact that there were different versions like i mean even just that you know <laughs> is fabulous and if you want to see a side by side of both versions i have that i have a flip through of that um and i will link it right up here for you if i can if i have space if not like i said check my i think this one is in my decisions decisions playlist um but let me move this this fabulous book to the side because that's a whole another thing we'll get to that but the cards are beautiful the artwork is fun, it's inviting, and it is colorful and energetic. The um, compositions are busy, but that's okay. I don't mind that. It, the guidebook explains everything that we're looking at in the pictures. Um, and I like, I, I just, I like the colors. I think it's pretty. <laughs> Do I always read with it? No, because it's very busy. Um, it's not for, for me, I can't use it for like a quick read because my eyes are just like all over the place. I'm looking here, I'm looking there. But when I have time, I like to pull this one out. I think it's gorgeous. And why wouldn't I want to read with this gorgeous ass deck? And also this cardstock, it says paper, but it's linen and it's shuffles like a dream. It's beautiful. It's that plasticky, that plasticky coating coated uh, linen stuff that I enjoy and love. And yes, to the paper version. <laughs> <laughs> but it came with the paper. It came with a plastic version that was similar, but a little bit bigger. And then it came in a holographic ver version that actually that cardstock sucks. It's like sticky, glossy, but it's gorgeous. So I keep it and I'm keeping both of them. I can't decide which one I want. I couldn't decide which one I wanted when I bought them. So I bought them both and I'm keeping them both <laughs> because sometimes I want to use the easy to shuffle one. And sometimes I want to struggle and shuffle the other one and look at all the pretty start i like shiny shit y'all i like shiny shit that's just me this is um fabulous it talks about the colors it talks about the symbolism it talks about the lore it gives relationships it gives positive it gives ne negative or which would be like a blocked or a reversed this book is amazing and i actually reached out to the creator to tell her how amazing i thought this book was i have never seen i all i backed this was probably the best kickstarter experience i have ever had i opened that box and things just it was like a clown car things just kept coming out and coming out and coming out and oh my god i was just like what all is in this box and i did not buy anything extra i didn't add anything on all i did, all i got was the deck and then i added well i guess i did add on a second deck but not with the whole packet just the deck you know so there was a lot of stuff that just came with one deck and um yeah it was be it was a wonderful experience uh it's a beautiful deck and it definitely deserves 
the award for best movie in a foreign language because it was an entire experience, a whole experience. Like from opening that box until now, I'm still having a whole experience with this deck. So yeah, definitely. Bana, this is the traditional Korean tarot from Bana. I'm not sure if you can still buy this one at the moment, but I bet you it'll be back soon enough because I know that she had um, a campaign, a crowdfunding campaign for like the mini version of this. So it's probably coming eventually. Oh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. And these are those the fabulous bags. Look at that. Ugh, I love it. The final one is best movie in an English language. So a deck that excels in all the categories presented and is awarded for lifetime achievement, but an English language deck. And I went with the Japaritza Tarot by Nino Japaritza with guidebook by what is his name? Steve Lucas. I, this was a new one for me this year. I did not have this before this year. I know a lot of you already have this deck. I can't, listen, I had three that I was going back and forth. It was hard. I couldn't decide. It was between, I'll tell you, it was between the Silver Acorn Tarot, which I love the artwork for. Nice big cards. I can see it. So production was solid. The guidebook, that's where the Silver Acorn Tarot lost because I couldn't, I can't read that guidebook. It's too small. So, <laughs> so I can't give it an award because it's so small. I can barely see it. Like after I look at a few pages, my eyes start to hurt. My head starts to hurt. So I, so that one was out. It had to go. So then the other one was Tarot of the Vampires, which I love. I love. And I don't, I chose this one and I think I just like this one a little bit more, but they're hard to compare to be honest because they're very different decks. They're very different artwork, both beautiful in their own ways. They're very different styles of tarot. Um, they're very different in the, the style of guide, of writing in the guidebook. Uh, but I just, I think I, I like this one more because it's more, I don't know, it just takes me to a different place where the Terror of the Vampires, I have other decks that give me the same experience. I like that one. I love it, actually. Um, but I do have other decks that give me the same, a similar experience where with this one, I don't think I have another deck that gives me this same experience. And so, not that came in last year anyway. So I think this one wins. Um, the best, the life, the best movie award. Uh, beautiful, this beautiful surrealistic uh, artwork that's immersive and wonderful. And I read not only the pictures in the foreground, but I also read the color and movement in the background when I'm using this deck, as well as of course the titles. So I use all of that when I'm reading with this, and it it all comes together wonderfully like it it doesn't take me in or out it's like i'm living in my head when i'm reading this like i'm i'm in my mind and it doesn't bring me out or in and it doesn't jar me around it's just a very smooth but otherworldly experience for me and then this one this little book it's not a little book it's actually quite thick but um it doesn't have a whole lot on every card but what it does have is really good what i love about it is that it tells me the medium which is something that i'm always wondering and i don't think i have any other guidebooks that just you know well that have like different mediums on the cards that tell me the medium there's very few of them out there that will tell you what the artist how the artist created like the medium of the paintings you know so i'm like just like yes it saves my brain but um we're trying to figure it out it talks about the artwork and the composition on the card and why and then it gives a good a pretty solid divinatory meaning so i like this guidebook um I, the other guidebook for the tarot of the vampires is a little bit more of a story. I I don't know. I just, I could not choose. I had a hard time. Like I said, I think I might prefer the book for Tarot of the Vampires. Don't come for me, but I think I like it better because it's like a story and I love vampires and it was exciting to read about the vampires in that one. And this one is good. It, it talks about the cards, but exciting is not a word I would attribute to it. You know what I mean? So um, I did prefer the other book. But the reading experience is something that was a little bit different for me with this one, that the Tarot of Vampires, while I do love that deck and I thought that the book was fun and the experience of getting the deck and having it and, and learning about it and even using it 
you know, on a daily basis is fun. There's nothing different. Once I, once I got past all of that, there was nothing really different about just using that deck. It's just, it's a, it's a deck. This one is an experience. <laughs> is this one, when I use it, my, my brain does something different. You know what I mean? And so I went with this one. So this is um, my best movie choice. I'm not going to talk too much more about it because I have a whole walkthrough call. I think it's called um, new to me, old to you. So you can check my tarot walkthroughs for that. And, and that's it. Thank you to Sylvia for creating this fabulous tag. I really enjoyed myself. I love doing this. I look forward to doing it again next year if we if you decide to re-release this because like, no links will be in the description below. But if you check the playlist for if you but if you're looking for something that I've shown here today, if I have a video for it, the link will absolutely be in the description box of that video. So that's it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.